Okay, so I think uh, if you got anything else, we're going to open up for questions. Yeah, I just want to make a few comments. comments. I said I was going to talk about C7, so I'm, I'm going to talk about it just for a couple of minutes and uh, may tell you less than you think I was going to, but a lot um, less. <laughs> I, I don't know how many of you read Automobile. Uh, just came out the June issue, and there's a, a little picture of me photoshopped in here in an article about C7. It's got the pictures of the, the Stingray show car, uh, those are the Transformers movie. And you're going to see a ton of articles like this, uh, but you'll, you'll hear a lot of misinformation. Because what happens is the writers who, like, uh, this came out of, uh, we did a carbon review, actually at Pratt & Miller, the thing we were talking about earlier, we help writers out. And so they always ask us about C7. Well, how about a V6? You know, what about a dual clutch that came up yesterday? They ask us all these questions about what the content is, but we're not going to tell anybody what the content is. But you know, we're making those decisions uh, on your behalf as to what the next gen car is. So this this article um, implies that uh, I'm telling you there's going to be a, a V6 in the, in a Corvette, and uh, I'm going to be cagey with those guys all the time. Uh, if they throw out something, I'll just, you know, play the pros and cons off of them as to, oh, well, you know, maybe we could do it this way, maybe we could do it that way, what do you think? Um, and then they interpret that in different ways, and then they go write an article, well, you know, Ted Schuchter says it's going to be a V6. Um, don't believe any of what you read. Uh, most of it will be wrong. Uh, they may guess on some things, uh, luckily, uh, but like I said, they'll be wrong most of the time. Um, It'll, it can even be attributed to me and be totally wrong. It can be attributed to Bob Lutz and be totally wrong. It can be attributed to anybody. Um, there's one industry that's maybe in worse shape than the auto industry, and that's the uh, automotive publication industry. And these guys, uh, you see how thin the magazines are getting. Nobody advertises here. They're advertising on the internet. Uh, not many people buy off the newsstands. Everybody's doing everything online. There's so many more sources. Uh, to get information now that these guys are really hurting, they're consolidating, and as a result, uh, being sensationalist is one way to, to get your story out there and sell more magazines. So you'll probably see increasing uh, hype around uh, what the next gen Corvette's going to be. With you know, they'll hire somebody to create sketches and say, "Here it is. You know, we stole it out of design staff. Here's here's the next gen Corvette." Um, bottom line is. Uh, I'm quite excited uh, about the next-gen car. Uh, you don't have to fear that it's going to be a watered-down version uh, of the current car. Uh, yes, there are new realities in the world, uh, the cafe fuel economy requirements. You know, you got the government saying, General Motors, you have to average 35 miles per gallon across your fleet. Um, that's an unfunded mandate, you know, essentially saying, you know, we don't know how you're going to do it, we don't know how you're going to pay for it, but you guys have to get 35 miles a gallon. Doesn't matter if the customers want to buy what you're selling. You got to get to 35 miles per gallon. Uh, so, you know, we're redoing uh, all the cars, and Corvette has to play its role. But I have to tell you, there is virtually nothing we're doing because of that that we wouldn't be doing uh, anyway. I mean, there's a lot of good things about getting good fuel economy, making the car lighter is great, making it more aerodynamic. That's great. I mean, there's a lot of things. Powertrain efficiency, you get more power at the same time you're getting better fuel economy. So there's a lot of ways to play it uh, on Corvette's benefit. And uh, I'm quite confident that when we bring the car out, you won't say, man, I'm just going to keep my C6. You're going to say, i got to have one of those C7s. And I'm quite sure of that. So like I said, it's, uh, it's still years away. We're just basically getting going on it uh, in earnest now. Uh, but it's, it's going to be a great car. So that's all I'm going to say. You can ask away, but uh, I'm not going to dodge those questions, but uh, we're going to open it up now uh, for any questions about the uh, Motorsports Park or anything.